Alright, hello everyone. Today we'll be doing Ignite from TryHackMe, and today I'll be taking notes on Pentest.ws. I think I showed this before, but I never actually used it before. I'm excited because it seems nice, but um, yeah. So we just started off with an Nmap scan, and uh, let me grab the IP, and alright. Just do Nmap SCSV um, OA. That, but I already did it, so yeah. You can import your Nmap scans onto um, pentest.ws, so that's really nice. So let me just delete these. Um, right. Now, once you import your Nmap scans, you can see all the open ports. That's nice. If I can figure out how to use it, yeah, it's right here. You can see they do have. Um, Apache running on port 80 so we can go check that out and already we can see fuel CMS version 1.4 so we can just scroll down and also over here we can see um, the database fuel application config database.php now we can check that out and you also see um, we can log in and it even gives us the credentials so admin admin Now we can actually look through this and see everything, but um, there's really nothing useful here if you really look through it. Yeah, there's not much. So let's just see if there's any exploits out here for it. And this comes up, Fuel CMS 1.4.1, and that might actually work since this is also version 1.4. So we can actually download the exploit right now. I still have it from when I was doing it earlier, but yeah, we'll get there. Just close out of these. And yeah, so let's go over to the downloads folder. And we can just move this 47 over there to try hack me walkthrough. Alright, so let's look over here. We can see it. Let's just make this. Um, actually, let's just open it up. And URL, we can change that to the IP. So let's just do that. HTTP at 1010.189.80.52. And if we look down here, um, looks like we'll need Burp Suite for this. And this seems to just be the command over here. And we can just change this command so it's, um, it'll just be, we can do like a who am I. Now let's just open up Burp Suite. Okay. And we can just do next and start Burp. You can close out of that. Alright, so now that we have this, intercept is on. Let's just turn this on. And we can also now do Python. 47138.py and you can see it shows up right here we can send this to repeater send it and you can see we are www data so we now that we know that it works we can try to get a reverse shell on this so we just google um, pentest monkey php reverse shell it's a github and uh, i forgot to turn this off so let's just do that and PHP reverse shell. So we can just go over to raw, copy this, go back here, and see if try hack me, walk through. And now let's just do nano shell.php. Just paste this here. And let's zoom in. Let's go all the way up top. And this is gonna be the IP. We can change that to ours. So it connects back to us. So let's do sudo if config. Grab this. And we can change that to our IP port. We can just leave down a 1234. So let's just save that. Control S and Control X. And now that we have that, we can start up a 
HTTP server. So that actually grabs it. Um, go over the track and walk through because that's where our shell is. So let's just start up pyweb.sh. And if you don't have that, you can just do sudo python m simple HTTP server on port 80. So that's the command if you don't have it. And now that we have that, let's just start this up again. Let's go back here. We can just edit this. So let's drag this out. And who am I? We can change that to. First, let's look at the database since we can look at that right now. So let's just do cap plus, and that's pretty much a space. And let's just grab that directory. If we remember from here, yeah, the database is found here. So let's just copy this. Come back here. Just paste that. Send. All right, so we got something. So let's just scroll down. And as you can see here, we already have the username and the password. So the username is root, and the password is me, 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 me. Okay, it's only three me's. And now that we have that credentials, I'm just gonna come back over here to pentest.ws, uh, add credentials, root. Let me just do me, 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 me. Just add that. And we should be taking note of this, but I'm not doing that. Oops. So notes. Um, Apache 2.4. Forgot the version. Should duplicate this tab. Move back. Apache 2.4.18. So 2.4.18 on port 80. You can see. I'll come back here. Data paste directory. Just do that. And do exploit found for fuel CMS version. 1.4. You can just include a link to there. Credentials found. Let me come back here. I guess we can also take a screenshot of this. All right. Let me copy the clipboard. Come back here. Paste that in. Just so we have that. Should always be taking good notes. I don't know why we have two, so I'll delete that. And now we have our credentials. We can try to get a reverse shell. So we're gonna use this PHP reverse shell. So we can just do the same thing. Let's just make sure everything's running. And yep. So I'll just come back here, uh, replace this. Oops. And place that with wget plus should be in quotes, I think. HTTP, our IP address, which I forgot again. Pseudo if config. And we can do that on port 80. You don't actually need that, but I like to do it just because I always do it. Show that PHP. And this should work. So let's just send this over. All right, so now that we have that set up, it should work now. And I was doing port, uh, I was listening on port 4444 instead of 1234. So that's why I messed up, so yeah. Looks like I grabbed it this time, so we just do shell.php. This should give us a shell, hopefully. Alright, 
And now that you have that set up, I forgot to turn off Foxy Proxy. So that's why it wasn't working. So we can do shell.php now. Please give me a shell. Here we got a shell. That was like my fifth time doing it. It just kept messing up. So yeah. So now that we have a shell, we can just do who am I? WW data. We can move into slash home ls cdww dash data ls and we can just cat that out and that's the flag so let's just get a better shell so we can come over here to pentest.ws just come over here to shells and let's just use python 3 we can do that and there we go and now we since if you remember we did get a password um, it's me, 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 me. So let's just switch users to root, and the password is me, 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 me. Yep, and now we are root. So let's just clear. Oh, okay, that doesn't work, but it doesn't matter. Let's go over to root, ls, and that's your root flag right there. So let's just cut that out, and that's your root flag. So I hope you guys really like this video. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up because, yeah, it's a nice video.